In this tip, I'm going to show you how to filter an entire dashboard with a single rank parameter. So the example here I want to do is I want to have a single parameter that allows me to specify the top n. So for example, let's say I want to look at the top five. So it'll show me the top five selling subcategories, the states with the, the five states with the highest discounts, etc. So let's have a look at how to do that. So the first thing I need to do is create a parameter. I'm going to call it my top n. I'm going to make it a integer parameter. And let's say we default it to 10. OK, I'm going to go ahead and show that parameter so you can see what it does as we build this. I'm now going to create a filter calculation for each sheet. So I'm going to say top n discount for the sheet. So it's going to be the rank of the average discount is less than or equal to my top n filter. Hit OK. Let's drag that to the filters and choose true. Let's go on to our top selling categories. So here, what we want to do is we want to create another calculated field. This time it's going to be our top n sales. We're going to use our rank calculation. We're going to drag in the sum of sales. And is that less than or equal to my top n? Let's hit OK. Drag that to the filters and choose true. Two more times. Let's create another calculated field. This is my top n uh, profit ratio. So rank. Let's bring in our profit ratio is less than or equal to my top n parameter. Hit OK. Let's drag that onto the filters and choose true. Lastly, let's do it for our most purchased products. Create another calculated field. This time it's going to be top n quantity. The rank of the sum of quantity is less than or equal to my top n parameter. Hit OK. And again, drag that to the filters. And we have our top 10. So if we go back over here and I change this to the top 5, notice I get the top 5. The top 15, I get the top 15. That then applies across all of these sheets. OK, so back in our dashboard then, if we go ahead and add our parameter to the left-hand side so the users have access to it, I can type in 5, and I get 5 for each of those, for each sheet. So I'm going to fit each of these to the entire view just to make it look a bit nicer. OK, now if I switch this to the top 10, we get 10 in each, the top 8, whatever. And there you go. That's how you do it. You use a single parameter to can, so that each chart has showing the same number of rows based on the rank. Hope you found that useful. Have a great day.